you guys. Hi. I hope you guys are having a good evening. Um, I wanted to come on and show you guys how I do my rosettes with crepe paper. I did a video showing the flowers I had made and I told everyone that if they were interested in seeing how I make them to leave a comment and I had several say they would like to have a tutorial so we're going to do a tutorial. Okay first of all you need whatever um, colors of crepe paper. I got green, yellow, white and I have a little pink I'm going to use up. Okay that's the colors I chose. I have some uh, butterflies and some dragonflies. I have flowers. Uh, you'll need scissors. You'll need a stapler or glue. I use my stapler and glue gun. Um, you'll need bling. And that's about all. Uh, oh, and you'll need some circles. If you have them close to the color of uh, the flowers that you're making, that would be awesome. But if you don't, you can use buttons or, you know, just whatever. And you'll, you'll understand what I mean as we get into it. Okay, um, let's get started. Okay, what I do is I take my crepe paper, and I'll try and do this as best I can. You see how uh, that's not even, so I, I like to trim it so I have a clean edge. And I don't measure my paper and cut it off before I make my flower. I just start, what I do is I take it and I just fold it and pull it up fold it and I'm holding it here at the bottom now some people they take and they put a spot of glue in here but because I'm going to use my stapler I'm not I'm, I'm not going to do that I, I don't need I don't need to put glue here since I'm going to use my stapler but I have to hold it and you just keep folding and as you fold you're kind of pulling your fingers up that I hope you can see that okay that will give you your fold and you just keep going the closer you do them um, the more pleated it is um, and sometimes it, it is smaller when you do it that way depending on the size of your crepe paper to how wide it is to how big I mean I've seen some pretty good sized ones but if you just keep folding and folding and just keep going around you see how it's going in a circle because I'm turning it every time I do a fold I'm turning it so that it's making a circle you see that and I'm using my thumb to kind of, you know, to kind of make that little dent or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Once I reach to where my other side meets, you see, then I quit. Okay. And then I take my scissors and I kind of cut it at an angle okay right now if I let go of this it would just be a, a piece of um, paper what I do is I take my stapler and you don't have to use a mini stapler you can use any size stapler well you wouldn't want to use a huge one but you can use this one I put it in to where it it get it grabs it and you see how it did that okay now what I do with my glue gun or you can do with glue to keep this 
from being like this, I put a little spot of glue right there and mash that. You'd be careful because it's hot. Okay, now there's my rosette. Now, what I do is I don't have any of the pink circles, so I'm going to use a white one. And I'm going to put this in the back. I'm going to take, again, I use my, just a moment, i got to get my, there we go. I use my glue gun, put the glue on there. And this is also going to help you keep it together. And I'm going to put that right on the back. And there again, it's hot, so be careful. You guys don't know how many times I get burnt with this stuff. But I'm sure if you do anything like this, you get burnt too. Okay, then I just have to decide what I want to put on the front. So, I'm going to put a butterfly on this one. And on this, I'm just going to put a little dot right on the flower. See there? And I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to place him right over that staple. See? You can, uh, you can do any kind of circle you want. Uh, you can do take this and you can put it on a doily. You can put it on cardboard circle to make it uh, bigger. It's really up to you what you want to do once you get this part done. And and it's pretty much, it's the same. Even with the white ones, it's the same. But let me show you something with the white one. Now, this one, I'm going to show you how to make it. You see how big I did that? This one, I'm going to make them bigger. See how wide? Can you see that? I don't want it to be real close, so I'm doing a wide one, doing it very spaced out or whatever you want to call it. And these, these go so fast, you guys, you can make a lot of them in a short time. You really can, and they're, they're really pretty, depending on how you decorate them. And it's so simple. Okay, one more. There we go. See, I met it there. Now, I'm going to take again. Be careful, don't cut your back ones. And I'm going to trim it. Okay? And then I'm going to take my stapler and I'm going to staple it. I'm making sure I get all my paper. Okay, and then again, I'm going to put a little dot of glue back here. And I'm going to press it down. That's going to hold it together. But these here give you that extra security when you put this on the back you're getting more security on holding that to where it doesn't come apart there again you just press it right in the center okay All right, then with this one, I think I will use a flower, a pink one, and it's pop dotted, but I'm afraid it may not stick, so I want to do just a little bit more, so I'm going to put a little glue on that. 
before and then I'm going to stick it down right over my staple see see what I mean very easy to do <laughs> I've got strings from my glue gun very easy and this see the difference how you fold them that's that's how you get your size now let me show you this okay I want to cut this off because it's ripped so make sure my ends are good okay now I hope you guys can see this okay so I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it. I'm going to do the bigger one, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it. Got to keep it in the middle. Fold it. Keeping it keeping it in the middle be sure you hold it now if it gets to where you're having trouble holding it you can take your stapler and you can staple it that way you've got these held and then you can start again it's not going to interfere or like I said you can use glue some ladies use glue and they put glue on them to hold them um, I don't work good with glue partly because the glue is wet and it takes so long for it to stick that I just rather do it this way okay I think we're almost there Okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay. Did y'all see that? Okay, I'm going to go in with my stapler before I cut it this time. And I'm going to staple it. And I'm going to give it a couple of staples because I want to make sure it stays together. And because I did it a little different. I did it bigger. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little dot of glue and stick it down. Okay. Now, see, this isn't going to show. So it's okay if this doesn't look real pretty because you're going to cover that up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give my flower some greenery. Okay. So I'll take the pink one and I'm going to mash it. See? Now it's got a pink, uh, a green background. So now I got to put something here. So, I'm going to get a, a green circle. And I'm going to put my glue on there. And I don't mind leaving it laying right on the table because it's hot. And I'm going to put that right there. Give it a little mash. There you go. See? Okay. Now, so you can do them pretty quick. It just depends. Once, once you practice a little bit, it doesn't take very long at all to do one. You know, if you 
and it just depends on how you want to do it how big you want it how little you want it you can make them real small um, I find that with my hands I have problems um, I have a little bit of arthritis in my hands and um, they, it gives me a little problem holding stuff sometimes but you can do it even I can do it it just might take me a little bit to do it so you know see that didn't take long little glue put it right there take a little green thingy bobby a thing of a bobby my my husband says everything's a thing to me yeah I guess so put that right there now Take a green flower and put him right there. See? That's all. It, it's, it's very, very simple. And, you know, I don't try to get them perfectly round. If you, if you're real you know, particular and want them round, you can take your scissors and you can trim it and make it even. See? You can work with it and get it just exactly the way you want it. I'm quite happy with that. Um, now, you can do these with cupcake liners also. That I haven't got down very good yet, so I didn't want to try doing those for you guys. I wanted to show you the ones that I do know how to make, you know, because who wants to make something they aren't good at? Okay, I have a yellow one, I've, a yellow that I've already been using. My 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 kids. And them always tease me because I say yaller or yalla. I don't ever say it correct, it seems like, but yeah, who cares? And you can make a fan with these too. You can take just like this and you can you can stop right there and you, and add it to the back of anything. You can you know, make a fan. Now, what I did yesterday, say, I want to take my stapler and put a staple right there and cut this off. Okay? And I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to take this pink one and I'm going to do another one. Okay. I'm going to staple it. And I'm going to trim it. And I'm going to put that one aside. And then I'm going to do white
show you in a minute what I'm doing. Right now I'm just sticking them together so they'll stay. And this one, I think I'll do. Okay. Now it's a little crooked, but what you can do, like I said, if it bothers you, you can trim it. See? And give it that roundness that you want. Ooh, that's hot. And you can work with it until you get it like you want it. Me, I'm not unsatisfied with that. But there you've got three of them. Different color. So. Okay. I think you guys got the idea of what I'm doing. I think I will just do a couple and let you guys see and not talk while I'm doing it. Now this is just a button and I'm just cutting the, the little eyelet thing off of the back. So.
Okay, you guys, I'm going to angle you up so I can see you and we can talk for a second. And turn around here. So, that's all I really know how to show you guys. It's, it's just really simple to do. I hope you were able to see what I was doing, and I hope you like my tutorial. I'm going to list a couple, um, I'm going to do a couple links to a couple channels that have tutorials that do it maybe a little bit better than I do, and are a lot better than I do, but anyway, I'm going to link a couple channels, so you guys can check out somebody else's too, and I hope you got something from this video. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Welcome to my channel if you're new subscribers. And so this is what we made tonight. We did this white one with the dragonfly. We did the green one. We did a white one. We did one that has three colors. Well, four if you want to count the green and the flower. We did a pink and green with a butterfly. And we did a yellow one with the flower and some bling. So, I hope you guys will give it a try. I think it'll be easy for you.